Hello, Comic Army. I'm parked outside my LCS Retro Rocket Comics. It's a little overcast, but you know what? That's okay, because it's new comic book day. All right, let's get into my shop. Here in Cambridge, Ontario, it's about 55 miles or 75 kilometers due west of Toronto. If you ever make your way into Ontario, Canada, be sure you check out Retro Rocket Comics. All right, so we have a new Captain Marvel this week. We also have The Return of the Amazing Spider-Man, issue 38. Some interesting covers here. Looks like Chris only has a couple issues left. We have a new Incredible Hulk this week. Iron Man is back. As is Moon Knight. And she Hulk. With a triple cover. Very nice. And we also have Uncanny Spider Man. One of the reads of the year, as far as I'm concerned. Switching over to DC. New Green Lantern War Journal. Hmm, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a Christmas card cover. Batman Off World. Nice cover. J. Garrick Flash, issue two. Catwoman 59. GSA 7, Nightwing, and a new Harley. New Superman this week also, Chained, and one of my favorite DC titles continuously is Wonder Woman. There's a new issue here, new cover, I like that one. Here at the Independence, Conan, Dracula, Cyberpunk, Darkling, The Expanse, Void Rivals. Hello Comic Army, my name is Chris the Comic Vet, hope this video finds you safe and well. All right, well, I'm back from my LCS Retro Rocket Comics. Again, Chris, thank you so much for having my pull list waiting for me and the things that you do for me and my channel. It's greatly appreciated. Everyone, please make sure that you're following Retro Rocket Comics on all their social medias. It'd mean a lot to me. Again, Chris is a friend of the channel, and he's a friend of your channel as well. So let's just take a look at what's in my pull list. Well, he tossed in Ultimate or pardon me, I guess uh, Marvel Free Previews, but it's uh, spotlighting the ultimate Black Panther on the front cover here. It says Night Falls on Wakanda, issue number one. But what's on the back cover is kind of interesting as well. They're coming out with another Spider-Punk title. So this is Spider-Punk number one. It says Encore, you wanted more. Eh, I thought, the, I thought what came out last year was okay. So we'll see what happens with this issue. Okay into the new comic books as always on this channel we start with the franchise this is issue 38 of the amazing spider-man we're getting into gang war and uh, we'll see what zeb wells has to do with that i'm glad to see that they have ed mcginnis on the interior artwork nothing wrong with that ed mcginnis is a fantastic artist so we'll see we'll see fingers crossed so a book that has been spectacular is uncanny spider-man i highly suggest you read this fun book it's been a lot of action just lightheartedness it's just a nice return to someone different being in the spider suit but having a lot of fun doing it if you're a fan of nightcrawler you're definitely going to like this book so this is issue four of uncanny spider-man now this wasn't on my radar, but Chris showed me a cool foiled out cover of this book. But when he showed me the Ken Lashley variant of Daredevil Black Armor issue number one, I had to pick it up. 
chances are I'm going to end up getting it signed by Ken Lashley. He's at a lot of the cons that are here in Ontario. And I like to think that him and I have a pretty cool friendship or whatever. But yeah, this is uh, this is some pretty cool work by Lead Killer. So yeah. The series that I'm still really enjoying is The Incredible Hulk. This is issue number six. Featuring the zombie Ghost Rider. So yeah, Hulk issue six. Another series that I've been enjoying. I wasn't, I didn't think I was going to as much as what I do, but it seems to just, every issue is just really good. And uh, yeah, it's the Invincible Iron Man. Now, this may not be for everyone. It's not one of these books that I go and highly suggest. But uh, it's a book that, for me, my top five Marvels of the of the year, this is top five. So yeah, Invincible Iron Man, issue number 12, with that cool cover. So let's switch over to DC. And uh, yeah, I went with the Godzilla cover for the Justice League versus Godzilla versus King Kong. And in case you weren't aware, I am Team Godzilla from start to finish. From Skybound, this is Void Rivals, issue number six. Two issues, just two issues, after my letter was published in issue number four. So yeah, Void Rivals, issue number six. I'm really enjoying that series. And uh, I went and picked up the second printing of Transformers number one. A little bit of a shocking cover. After Starscream blew half of Bumblebee's face off. Yeah, there we go. It's a good thing that Ratchet is back, right? <laughs> but yeah, uh, that point blank. <laughs> Point blank shot to the face from issue number one with start. Sorry, I'm spoiling it, by the way. Uh, Starscream just shoots Bumblebee right in the face. Uh, yeah. Second printing of issue number one. And the book that was released maybe last month, Chris managed to get it in today from Opus. And uh, just in case you weren't aware, I am a big fan of thrash metal. And Opus often does covers, or pardon me, comic books, of metal bands and rock bands and they did one of exodus uh exodus that thrash metal band from california and uh this is called tales of the damned i gotta admit i am not familiar with any of the creators that are along the bottom here but uh it's cover b it is just a one shot and the price was six 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 see i'm looking forward to reading this and possibly even getting it autographed one day so we're going to switch back over to DC. Maybe this one just kind of slipped to the bottom for whatever reason. Not to say that it deserves to be there because I am a huge fan of Wonder Woman. And this is issue number three from the Dawn of DC's Wonder Woman. Uh, I got to admit, I'm really enjoying what Tom King is doing. Uh, I've been reading Wonder Woman for the better part of seven years now. And uh, yeah, it's one of those characters good issues not so good issues but the arcs have always been terrific and uh this one is off to a great start i highly recommend uh wonder woman right now and some of those covers have been really really good so like i mentioned off the top uh chris the owner of retro rocket comics is a friend of mine friend of my friend of my channel friend of everyone's channel and when i came in today he's like here i have a couple things for you and it, it never ceases to amaze me the kindness that Chris shows to me. And what he did was he gave me the foiled uh, local comic shop day. Let's see if I can get this to... Uh, there we go. The local comic shop day foiled out cover of Something is Killing the Children, issue 34. This virgin, vo virgin variant foil for local comic shop day. I'm very happy to have this in my collection as I am a huge something is killing the children fan if you're watching this you probably already know that and besides something is killing the children i'm also something of a jenny frizen fan and he had this waiting for me as well this is berserker fallen empire issue number one the virgin variant foil done by jenny frizen for local comic shop day 
So again, apologies for the glare, but these foils they've been making this past year are really, really nice, and they just catch the light so well. So yeah, Berserker Fallen Empire, issue number one, the Virgin Variant cover, done by Jenny Frizen for a local comic shop day. So let's switch, switch gears and talk about the Comic Army box. So if you're a channel member, you're a member of the Comic Army. And every month, the first Wednesday, I like to give away an appreciation box called the Comic Army box. And this box for the upcoming December poll has been stuffed. But it's not over yet. Chris from Retro Record Comics has donated two more items. The first is a poster. I'm not going to unfold it here, but I will show an image of the poster. For The Amazing Spider-Man, issue 39, introducing Gang War. So that this poster is going to be going into that box, and also this incredible comic book. This is... The Big Time Collectibles, Marvel Voices, Wakanda Forever, issue number one, the Virgin Variant, done by John Jang. Now, this is a limited book, and uh, I am so glad that Chris just donated this book. So again, all you have to do is hit that join button down below to become a member of the channel and join the Comic Army. And like I said, the first Wednesday of every month, the appreciation box called the Comic Army box will be given away to a lucky channel member. And this month's box is stuffed. And uh, this might be one of those crown jewel pieces that's in that appreciation box. So again, thank you, Chris from Retro Rocket Comics for hooking up the Comic Army with a couple more spectacular items. Well, Comic Army, that's my new comic book day haul. What say you? What did you think? What's your favorite cover? Uh, that Wakanda Forever, that is just gorgeous by John Jang. Also, the Frizen, but you know how I feel about Jenny Frizen's artwork. But, uh, yeah, so what book are you looking forward to reading the most this week? For me, I think it's got to be Uncanny Spider-Man and Void Rivals. How about you? I look forward to seeing your comments. Please make sure that you hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Until we see you again, Comic Army, take care. Channel memberships are now live. $4.99 monthly gives you the opportunity to win the Comic Army monthly prize pack, early access to videos, custom emojis for live streams and videos. Your Comic Army rank will be displayed beside your name for length of service. You get the ability to join the exclusive Instagram chat room for members and member shoutouts and spotlights. Join the Comic Army today.